All right, uh, welcome to part two of the uh, Maya Fur tutorial. Um, in this part of the tutorial, we're going to go over some various methods to animate these properties of the uh, fur system in Maya. So, for the beginning, uh, let's just grab everything in this scene. Um, basically, let's just select this stuff and let's just hit delete and let's start fresh. Um, what I want to do is come in here and just uh, create a, uh, yeah, let's just create a, a NURBS plane. Right in here, I'm just going to create a, a plane, and we'll just sort of bring it out to there, and maybe scale it up a bit more because this is going to be our grass. So I'm going to put that like that, and um, what we're going to do is create a uh, NURBS uh, sphere as well. So I'm going to click on the grid, create a sphere, and there we go. Basically, we're back to uh, ground zero with our various uh, uh, objects that we're going to attach some fur to. So before um, I told you that um, you should be in your polygon set well actually that's not true um, when we're working with fur we want to be in the um, rendering set over here so you'll notice that when you turn into your rendering set you now have fur options uh, right here so these are your various fur uh, commands and things that you're going to need for fur later on but for right now um, just be aware that it's under your rendering menu set so you can always call it fur from right here, which is what I like to do. And um, right here is where the grass preset is. So let's uh, take our plane and let's just attach a little bit of grass to there to begin with. Um, there it is. We'll attach the grass. As you can see, um, it's kind of sparsely populating the area. And if I come up here and look at what our, our density of that grass is, that's kind of the, the first thing um, I guess that you should start with as well. Um, you know, you can um, have your colors and things like that, but we didn't really go over density in the uh, first tutorial, so here's where we're going to show you what, what's up with that. If I switch this density from, say, like 10,000, and um, let's, let's do a quick render view. That was kind of what we left off with. Um, I'm going to do a render and essentially you're seeing the plane down here with only uh, say 10,000 um, 10, uh, mode but we're gonna switch that density up to something more like say 40,000 so let's give it like 40,000 and what we'll do is do another render here real quick and as you can see it has a lot more a lot more grass going on there so that's great um, in order to see this a little better too, uh, sometimes you might want to create a light. So in this case, we do have a light on here. Um, so we'll just bring its intensity up a little bit, and let's see. Let's see what what happened with that. Going to go through here and do a quick render. Okay, so our intensity by bringing it up that much is a lot, and you can see where it's casting shadows and everything. We may or may not want that. Uh, for the moment, I'm going to bring the intensity of the light down a bit, and um, we may turn off the shadows. Uh, you know, depending on what's going on here, I can I can go ahead and, and de-check the use depth map shadows for my light, and uh, let's just see what happens when that happens. Okay, so now you can see that the the grass is on the plane, and this is just a normal Lambert um, to begin with. So let's switch that up first. Um, let's come over here into our hypershade. And if you can't find your hypershade, it's always under your rendering editor, hypershade. And sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, well, there it is. Let's go to the hypershade. And there it is. OK, so you can see where I have Lambert 2 right here. And essentially, that's what we want to assign to our plane. So I'll just go ahead and right mouse click on that plane, assign existing material, go to Lambert 2. And now we kind of have a good, a better color to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that hypershade and come over here. And we'll do another quick render. And now you can see where, you know, there's a lot more grass. If we come back into our grass attributes here, and instead of doing, say, 40,000, and we do maybe 60,000, uh, you'll get the idea that um, essentially it's just going to add more more grass. So that looks pretty good for now. Um, we're not too concerned with um, how it's looking, more like how we're going to animate these properties. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, click on our 
Let's click on our sphere up here. Now to this sphere, let's uh, maybe assign this something a little different. Um, in this case, maybe uh, maybe we'll assign it the. Um, eh, let's give it. Uh, eh, let's give it some squirrel. All right. So there it is. Um, you can see where the squirrel is. I'm going to go ahead and and up. Well, we don't need to up the density yet. What we want to do is do a quick render, and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so there's kind of what the squirrel looks like. Okay, so let's set it up to a little bit different angle. I'm going to come over here into my general menu set, and we're going to just sort of move that around a little bit, maybe make a little more, come to a little bit better angle, maybe move it down a little bit, and then maybe, maybe come a little closer to the ground there, to the grass. So, so now, um, if I come into the render view, let's do a quick render in this angle. And you can see where we have grass and then we have our, uh, our squirrel there. So with those two chosen, let's do a quick render. Um, we're going to animate some of these properties for the grass. That's kind of the starting position for the grass and that's the starting position for our, um, our squirrel fur. So what I'll do, let me minimize that view. Come back here and we, we have a 300 frame animation. So essentially what we want to do is animate the properties for this grass over 300 frames. So I'll go ahead and, and let's choose our, our grass to begin with. And I'm going to click right on there. You can see where it highlighted the grass. Now up here, you'll notice if, if you're in your grass mode, it'll give you the color and everything else. But what we really want is we want to get to the attributes that we can keyframe and uh, adjust. So what I'll do is I'm going to come over here and hit the um, attribute editor. And as you can see, we have the fur feedback, we have the shape. And what we want here is the input. This is the grass one. I'm going to click on there. And now this gives me all of the properties that I'm able to keyframe. Um, some that you can't keyframe. Density, for example, I don't believe you can keyframe. I, I could be wrong, but uh, I, I've tried it and it doesn't really work. So <laughs> anyway, uh, if you come down here, you'll notice that we have all those basic attributes that we can keyframe. So just a simple explanation on how to do that. And remember, all of these can be keyframed um, for whatever you want over time. But I'm just going to go with basically a 300 frame animation and keyframe the grass growth from this point which is where it's set at its length is two. And let's click on that to activate it and make sure that you're at the first frame in the timeline, hit the S on the keyboard and that sets a keyframe for the, the starting length. Now we're gonna bring this all the way up to three, the end of 300 frames and let's bring this length up to say maybe, oh say six. Okay, so I'll put a six in there and then I'm gonna hit um, S on the keyboard and that will put a keyframe there. So if I spin through this animation just sort of go through the timeline there you can see the grass growing and it's doing pretty much what it, we expected it, it would do. And I'm going to hold it right there. And now if I come into the render view we'll take a quick render. There's what we had before and this is kind of what we have now. Um, my light is still a little bright, so I'm going to come over here into the outliner and let's choose our point light first. And I'll go over here into its tab and reset this intensity. I'm going to bring that intensity down a little bit. And uh, let's see what that looks like. You're going to spend a lot of time on rendering, so yeah, that kind of makes it look a little bit better. Okay, so anyway, we have that grass growing now. And that's essentially all there is to it. Um, let's come up here into our our hair system for the squirrel, and that's the squirrel one. Let's go over here, and we're going to look for that input, and I'm going to click on that. And it starts out at a length of 0.8, and let's really whack this out. I'm going to click on length there. Let's set it back to the very beginning of the animation, and hit S on the keyboard. And then let's bring it all the way to 300. And at 300, let's take that length up to like 9 or something like that. So I'll just, instead of 0.8, this is going to be a full-on 9. All right. 
and we may even want to go a little larger than that so let's try it maybe at 15 all right so now that has a lot of growth let's even give it a little more let's give it let's make it go up to 20 all right so there we go so I'm gonna hit now that I know that that's what I want I want to hit s on the keyboard to set a keyframe and in conjunction now you'll see where everything is growing um, we have the grass growing and we have that uh, that squirrel fur growing so that's essentially the the concept behind um, you know keyframing some of these things to do various uh, various stuff as it's going through its animation so let's come back here now let's try something a little different uh, as we're going over let's take the scraggle and it's at a point two right now so let's click scraggle bring it up to the very beginning of the animation hit s on the keyboard bring it up to 300 and by 300 we might want this scraggle at say like maybe a scraggle value of 5.0 so I'll hit some scraggle so that's kinda of gonna be where it what it's gonna do over time is it's kinda of gonna grow and it's gonna shrink into into being all scraggly like that so I'm gonna go ahead and hit S and uh, we'll take a we'll see how that works on there okay so as you can see it sort of clumps to the surface and does its thing um, it's not really what we want so I'm gonna go ahead and and, uh, and uh, we're gonna reset that keyframe so at 300 right here let's let's take that scraggle frequency and let's actually uh, readjust that to like maybe one okay so there it is so I'll keep put a keyframe of S here on the keyboard and now we'll let it grow out for a little bit and as it grows over time it starts to get a little scragglier and does a little bit stranger things and that looks pretty cool alright so there you go you know you can basically keyframe anything in here um, just like that um, it's a very simple concept and uh, the more you play around with it the more uh, more you'll get familiar with easily and quickly setting you know some of these various properties so um, that's essentially how it works and uh, you go ahead and play around with that um, and then uh, you know see what all these different um, options do if you go into your fur set of course a lot of these different um, furs are going to react a little bit differently and remember you can always take a, a, a surface like your hair there your squirrel feedback and like at a later point let's say we just um, let's say we go back to here and we go to squirrel one and presets remember you can always come down here and add some kind of strange properties to it to blend so let's do a 50 percent porcupine blend all right so that changes things up a little bit so if I were to go back and play the animation now it's gonna use that porcupine blend and it's also gonna add it into you know the animation so there it is so let's take a quick render view see what we got now and do a quick render and you can notice where the grass looks a little oh, it's too formulaic so you know you might want to work on on adding some you know various properties to that to kind of give it a little bit more of a, a better blend or a, a natural looking blend so that's it in a nutshell so that kind of gives you an idea of you know the various properties that you can animate and how to do that quickly and efficiently so there you go I hope you learned something and um, stick around for another tutorial and uh, remember read a book and uh, do your dishes and whatever <laughs> okay thanks for watching talk to you soon